Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a closer look at Notification Center in OS X Yosemite. So this has been uh, completely redesigned and now contains a today view uh, which will be familiar to anyone who's used Notification Center on iOS 7 and above. So to launch Notification Center on the Mac, uh, simply uh, use a two-fingered left swipe on your trackpad. Alternatively, you can just click on the icon at the very top right of the screen. As you can see, there are several headings. Uh, these are known as widgets, so you've got calendar, stocks. You can easily edit these um, and customize them. So to add a widget, simply click on edit and then click on the uh, little plus button uh, to add that widget to the uh, uh, notification center. You can also add a widget by simply dragging and dropping uh, from the right hand pane onto the left hand pane. To remove a widget, click on the minus button or again, you can simply drag and drop um, onto the right hand pane there. You can also change the order in which these um, widgets appear simply by clicking on the three horizontal bars on the right hand side and then just moving the widget up or down um, to change where it will appear. You can also download additional uh, widgets by clicking on the App Store button at the bottom of Notification Center. This will then launch iTunes where you'll be able to download additional widgets from third party developers. Um, and obviously in time, more of these will become available to download. Now many widgets can be customized. If you hover the cursor over the actual sort of uh, the title bar, you'll see a little eye indicator appear in the, on the right hand side. Click on that and then it will give you some options. So for example, we can uncheck um, these boxes for LinkedIn and messages. We can also change the order in which um, um, each of those will appear. So now as you can see we've simply got Facebook and Twitter available. To add an account, uh, in this case Twitter, just click on uh, add an account, um, type in your username and password. Okay so I might just speed this up a little bit because my uh, <laughs> my typing is really slow so um, if we just skip ahead so once you've typed in your username and password click on next and then if you click on sign in Now if we go into Notification Center, click on the Twitter um, button, you can now send tweets uh, directly from Notification Center without having to use um, uh, you know, um, a, a third party application or um, by logging in via a web browser. Um, so this is a really um, handy feature, makes it really quick and easy to um, to use social media and of course you can use this with with Facebook uh, LinkedIn and messages as well um, and you would simply set those up in the same way okay you can also edit things like the weather widget so again if you click on the uh, little I icon um, type in the name of, of, a, of a city so if we put in Tokyo um, 
select um, the uh, search result and then uh, you can add that. You can also move, again, you can move the, uh, the order of the, the way those appear um, simply by clicking on the three horizontal bars um, to the right hand side and just moving those around. If you click on, um, uh, if you select a city and click on it, that will open up um, uh, a day by day view. If you actually click on the name of the city, that will launch Safari and take you to the Weather Channel website where you can get um, more detailed um, weather results. So that's quite a nice feature as well. We also have notification pane. There's nothing actually showing on here because I haven't set this account up with any uh, mail accounts or, or iTunes or anything like that. But usually in there you'll have a, a list of your um, emails and, and, and various other things. You can stop notifications um, appearing by uh, simply selecting do not disturb. So that will stop the notification icons flashing on the uh, top of the screen. You can also go into settings um, at the bottom left of Notification Center um, and have access to additional settings. So here you can um, set up Do Not Disturb to be active during certain times of the day. You can change the way that um, um, alert notifications are displayed uh, for each kind of application. That's simply a case of just uh, selecting on the relevant application on the left hand uh, pane and then making the adjustments um, on the right there. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. Um, if you did, please give it a like. Uh, remember to subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.